We are talking to Craig Johnstone. Mm -hmm. He is a cask master lead uh, with McCallum. Yes. Thank you for joining us here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, the, the job title sounds interesting, but what what's behind it, actually? So the job title is, I suppose, it's one that is more a journey than a destination. Um, and really, the, 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 the main uh, The main responsibility uh, of mine is looking after the cast quality of, of Macallan. So, when it comes to cast manufacture, whether it is you know where the wood's from, how it's treated, how it's seasoned, and then obviously the the ultimate whiskey mm. that goes in there or spirit that goes in there, and uh, that all sits within my remit. Yeah. So you started your career in on the other side of the globe, didn't you? Uh, my production career, yes. yes. So my whiskey career started in Scotland. Um, very much in tourism and then had a, a really nice journey through through marketing and sales um, working with McAllen mm. on that journey um, but the production side started about a decade ago in Tasmania mm. uh, Australia where I learned how to make whiskey from a, a small distillery very much you know touch and feel sensory driven uh, making whiskey the old old-fashioned way so the quality control on whiskey is not just the spirit it's the mm. cask it's both Yes. Uh, what do you consider more important? They're both they're both important. I mean, a good whiskey is the the marriage of a, a, a good new make spirit, and it has to be married with the correct cask. Mm. So for us, we know what the new make spirit is doing. We feed back the quality of the new make spirit as a sensory whiskey mastery team to the distillery, so that they can make sure they're they're achieving the best possible mm. new make from the distillery. And then it's up to me to make sure that the casks that we're building on top of that. Are playing in the same ballpark in terms of flavor profile, in terms of complexity, in terms of aroma. Mm. Um, so for us, uh, for, for for my side, obviously the cask is where I focus. Mm -hmm. But for for McAllen as a brand, it is very much the marriage of some of the most incredible Highland style, big viscous new make spirit, and some of the best sherry casks in the world. You've uh, sourced the sherry casks in Spain. Yes. So that means that you're uh, many times a year you travel to Spain. I get to go to Spain, yes, I'm very lucky, um, three or four times a year I'll go down there. Uh, we have a, a full-time dedicated team in Spain mm. though for auditing, so for us quality control is key. Mm. Um, so in Scotland we have the Whiskey Mastery team looking at new make, looking at finished product. Um, my job spans both Scotland and Spain, so mm. in Spain I've got a, a full-time team that will go and audit what's happening from a heat treatment perspective, mm. from an oak supply perspective, from a traceability perspective. Um, and then the Coopers in Scotland will also knows every cask before it's filled. And then obviously the warehouse team and the whiskey mastery team will knows every cask when it's emptied. So every cask is controlled twice, when before it's filled and when it's uh, filled into bottles, right? Every cask, at least twice. Okay. So we We will audit our casks during manufacture. Mm -hmm. um, we will audit 100% of the, the wines that we season with. Mm -hmm. And then when the cask get to Scotland, we will audit every single cask coming off the truck to be filled with new make spirit. Then on top of that, we will look at casks, every single one at eight years old at McAllen. Right. That gives us an idea of where that cask is taking us on a whiskey journey. You know, which product is it destined for? Then we'll look at it periodically throughout its life after that. And from my side, in the cast mastery side, mm. there's a, a few other touch points that we look at. So some quite young. Um, all we're really doing is seeing what the potential of the, the oak is. And we know that that cast will then go on to mature for 12, 18, 25, 30 years. Um, and yeah, we, we're, we're continuously monitoring and grabbing data and mm. analyzing the data and pairing it with all the sensory touch points that we have. Mm. One gets the impression that Macallan uh, ages very well. Mm. Is there a specific reason for that? It's a, it's a combination of having a, a really nice, robust Highland style spirit from our small stills. Mm -hmm. We call them curiously small stills. They are some of the smallest uh, in, the, in the industry. Um, and that promotes a bigger, heavier new make. And what that means is some of the heavier aroma and flavor compounds will break down over time and become more fruity. So even the new make at McAllen has a almost orchard fruity vibe. As that ages on, it becomes more citrus. And as it gets really old, you start to see real tropical notes. So the whiskey we tried earlier on tonight uh, had a lot of grilled pineapple and tropical papaya, mango, those kind of aromas and flavors. And they are only really visible after a, a good number of years in the casks. So we can assume that what we tasted today uh, was an old Macallan. That would be a fair assumption, <laughs> yes. 
Craig, thank you for the insights and enjoy your stay here in Munich. It's my pleasure. Thank you for the warm welcome.